All right, guys, this uh, video, we're going to do real quick, and we're going to do the XY chart. The thing that's going to be different here is this number before X is going to be a fraction. And the reason why I want to go over it is we can only plug in a certain amount of numbers that's going to give us back whole numbers for Y. I don't want to deal with decimals and fractions for Y. So what's going to be key when I have fractions that multiply X is this bottom number. If I can multiply, or if I can put in the XY chart, if I can put in multiples of this bottom number, then it's going to guarantee me that I give that I get whole numbers for Y. So multiples of 2 are like 2, 4, 6, 8. You can go the other way and say negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, 8. Here's the easy way of doing this. I'm always going to do this. I'm going to plug in negative 2. Always plug in 0. It's very easy. And then plug in 2. Now this is where you could use your calculator because you have fractions. I'm going to show you it maybe for this first one and maybe skip it for the next one that we do. But if I plug negative 2 into this x, I have negative 1 half times negative 2 and then plus 4. These 2s, they're going to cancel and these negatives are going to cancel. It's going to give me positive 1. And then 1 plus, one plus this 4 gives me 5. So this word pair is negative 2, 5. If you plug in 0, you're going to plug in 0 for this x. You're going to have negative 1 half times 0 plus 4. Well, anything times 0, 0. And then when you add 4, you get 4 to it. So this is 0, 4. And again, you can kind of see the pattern. We went from 5 to 4, so we're probably going to get 3 here. And I'm just going to show it just for this one. I'm going to plug 2 in. So I'm going to plug 2 in for this x. So I'm going to have negative 1 half times 2, and then plus 4, and then negative 1 half times 2, these 2's cancel, but we get negative 1, and this negative 1 plus this 4 gives me this 3, so it works out. So this word appears 2, 3. All right, if I were to plug in odd numbers, if I were to plug in 1, 3, and 5, it would give me decimals for y. You could do that, but it's just making it more complicated for you. So we graph these three points. Let's see, we got negative 2, 5. So I go to the left 2, and I go up 5, so we're right there. So let's go negative 2, 5. We're right here. Okay, then we have 0, 4. So this is just a y-intercept. We go up 4 units, so we plot that point right there. There's 0, 4. Um, then we have 2, 3. So from the origin, we go to the right 2, and then we go up 3, and there it is. It matches up. So 2, 3 is right here. So there's our line. All right. Even though we have fractions in the equation, we're going to deal with it in a way so that we just get back whole numbers. All right, let's go to uh, number 3. Now, number 3, I'm probably going to skip some work here. You can kind of see I have the XY chart written to the left. All right, you see you have that ugly fraction, 1 fifth. The main thing is this denominator, the 5. So that tells me if I want to get whole numbers back for y, let's plug in multiples of 5. Easy way of doing it, let's plug in negative 5, 0, and 5. Now I'm going to kind of do this. I'm going to do this shortcut. Whenever you plug in 0, it's always going to equal this. Because when you do 1 fifth or anything times 0, that 0, and you get plus 2. So this number always equals the y value when you plug in 0 for x. So this is 2. All right. Um, if you plugged in negative 5, you are going to get, I believe, 1. If you plug in 5 for this, and I'll just show the work for this. If you plug in 5 for this x, you're going to get 1 fifth times 5, and then plus 2. This cancels out, and it just gives you 1, and then 1 plus 2 gives us 3. So when I list the ordered pairs, I have negative 5, 1. Again, no ugly fractions. Here I have 0, 2. And then the third, I have 5, 3. All right, so let's plug these in, or let's plot them. So negative 5, 1. I go to the left, 5, and up 1, so it's right there. There's negative 5, 1 right here. Okay, there's 0, 2. I just go up 2 units, so there I am. So there's 0, 2. And then this 5, 3, I just go to the right, 5, and then up 3, and it matches up. So 5, 3 is right here. So here we have our line that goes up left to right. The other thing you'll see, this in this 
y in the xy chart the y's go up by one and the reason is because the numerator's one for number one I think it went down by one because the numerator was negative one all right so this is a little shortcut here so we don't have to deal with fractions the key is plugging in multiples of the denominator the bottom number in the fraction